At Georgia College and State University, students are busy. Tackling studying, homework, and preparing for midterms, they're almost constantly using their phones and laptops. However, one thing stands in the way of student productivity on campus, and that's GCSU's Wi-Fi. Recently, Georgia College's internet has been presenting a number of problems. With students struggling to connect and stay connected to the Wi-Fi, the service has been noticeably slow with many unloadable pages. One of the many students who has experienced this is political science major Caroline Fetz. I have to reconnect every single time I open my laptop, which gets really annoying when you have four classes in a single day. Um, and you're running around from ANS to Hurdy to Kilpatrick back to ANS to the den. Like, so that is just super inconvenient. Um, and also when I'm in my dorm, it's kind of like a crapshoot as to whether or not it'll connect at all, which is not the most conducive to doing homework. So what's behind the slow service? Susan Kerr is Chief Information Officer at Georgia College. One is most of our infrastructure was built several years ago when students were not using as much technology. So right now, it's very common for a student to have at least three or four different Wi-Fi enabled devices. You have your phone, you have uh, maybe a laptop or a, a, you know, a, a, an iPad or a Chromebook or a you know, Samsung tablet, something like that. You've got maybe a watch that connects to the Wi-Fi. Um, so you've got all of these different devices that are now trying to connect to uh, an infrastructure that was really only made for maybe one thing to connect. Kerr says in addition to students overloading the Wi-Fi with too many devices, there was a major bug in the software that's used by the Wi-Fi, which has slowed it down significantly. She says the university is now trying to fix this problem. GCSU also has other plans to increase Wi-Fi connectivity and is already implementing some of them. On the first floor of the library, GC has installed a distributed antenna system, which significantly improves the ability of cellular devices to pick up a signal. Georgia College has also gotten their Wi-Fi vendor, Cisco, to look for issues that could potentially lower connectivity. According to Susan Kerr, there's also a third party investigating GC's infrastructure to see how the Wi-Fi could be improved. Although GCSU is steadily making changes, students are still reporting problems. Sophomore Emily Tipswood describes some of the personal struggles she's faced while trying to get connected. Recently, within the past couple of weeks, in order to connect to the Wi-Fi, I've had to restart my laptop, even though it works, like, connecting to Wi-Fi where I live. Um, and also, I have to use my hotspot a lot, just because the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Although these problems are a common theme among students, they should be hoping for better connectivity within the next few months with Georgia College's plans for improvement. Reporting for GC360, this is Gracie Howard.